Yes. World thinks it as a conflict between Jews and Muslims. Is that so? Is Israel, you know, only of Jews and your army is full of Jews? Something like that? No, Israel is actually... <laughs> <laughs> no, people, uh, we're that, not that has been the perception that this is the fight between Muslims and the Jews. It's, people have tried to, it's not just a religious conflict, maybe yes. it's part of a religious conflict, it's an, it's an uh, identity conflict, it's a historical conflict, and again, you know, don't expect, or I don't know who expects terrorists or terror organizations to have a whole reasoning for their hatred, to have a whole reasoning yes. for, this is their raison d'etre, is to ruin, to kill, to, to make civilian populations suffer. And it's not an issue. Israel in itself, Israel, we're, we're, a, we're a very multicultural uh, country. One, over 21% of our of people who are Israelis are Muslim or in yes. Arabs. So that's already over one fifth of, you know, of, of us is not Jewish. Yes. Then obviously we have a Christian population. We have actually over 150,000 people who are of Indian origin. So, I mean, we're varied and we have people from Arab countries and we have people from Iraq and people who were, you know, who, Jews who used to live in Iran and, and Europe and Americans. We're very, we're very, you know, we came together from everywhere. We, were, we lived in Israel, then for different reasons, historically, we were spread out all over the world because we, you know, and then we yes. came back to our homeland. So we're, we're very, very varied. And as I said, not even all of us are Jewish. Exactly. So it's not trying to think methodically or think linearly when it comes to terror organizations and yesterday is a horrible horrible example it doesn't work they don't think like we do they don't think you know they they have one goal in mind and they'll do anything to achieve this horrific uh, goal that they have yeah, what what is that goal killing a jew and killing killing yeah killing israeli you know the people who they murdered are not just jewish people right yes. well it's the over 600, it's not just Jewish people. They don't, they want to, as I said initially, destroy Israel, but terrorists want to to cause havoc, to cause uncertainty, to, to uh, up, uh, you know, cause upheaval in our daily lives, to make us scared to go out, to yes. make us doubt everything we know, to not go on as we are. You know, and we'll see how long it takes us to recuperate. We will recuperate. Israel is resilient. You know, it's not the first time or second or third time we're facing enemies who want to destroy us. And yes. we keep on coming back strong or stronger and winning the fight. But the, at the moment, this battle is, is just, it's, it's heart-wrenching. <laughs>